But if you walk the straight and narrow, you'll find the elegance and comfort is off. Do you know what the most beautiful thing in the world is, Johnny? A shoe! A shoe! The most beautiful thing in the world! The most beautiful thing!
talking about shoes. The most beautiful thing in the world, the most beautiful thing in the world, Charlie is So it's happened before. And never his majesties. Actually, of life, he seemed less concerned. Said he'd set on some sort of a plan. A sort of plan? What sort of plan? Hey, yep. 
Oh, mate, I assume you didn't come all the way to London just to buy me a drink. See if we find ourselves with 600 pairs of rogues. And they'll buy it. Chambers cancelled your orders completely, I heard. But then I remember the time your father found his stock short, and my dad, and no small personal expense, took on the task of filling the shortfall. No fair conjuring ancient history. Oh, I'll give it to you for a cost. Cost, Harry, for all time's sake. See these, Charlie? I import them from Slovakia and sell them at a fraction of your cost. How about this shite? A price you'll last a man a lifetime, the poor soda buys these only new ones in a season. And I'll be right there to sell them a pair at a very affordable price. Do you ever hear the saying, poor people stay poor because they buy cheap shoes? <laughs> you ever hear the saying, no matter how far down the wrong road you've gone, turn back? <laughs> Selling off inventory is only going to prolong the inevitable. But tell me, Charlie, is manufacturing shoes really what you had your cap set on? Selling cheap imports, your aspiration. If my life were nothing more than shoes, you'd find me swinging by my tie from a steam pipe. <laughs> my guitar, my mates, and music are my escape. And I'm perfect. It's what I got. Remember the pub where our fathers went to spend the end.
next season. I'll have to shut down. Please, Charlie! My girl's just started school. It's the uniforms, love, and me with no husband to help. Oh, sorry, Trish, but Chambers has cancelled our contract, so... What else can I do? Is that what this is all about? Then Chambers' shoe returns. All right, so you've had some bad news. But chin up, chum. As my mother used to say, don't worry today, because today ain't tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for the chat, Charlie. And good luck! But no, Trish, it's not like that. I, I have to. <laughs> I've been working here since you and me was kids. I'm third generation price and son. The fact is that nine out of ten shoe manufacturers have shut down already, so unless we can find a miracle buyer, what else can I do? Do what you like, but you can't fire me. <laughs> Remember back in school when you tried to cut me from the rugby team? Remember what happened? <laughs> you shoved me down a flight of stairs and got suspended. Yeah. But I stayed on the team. What else can I do? We can't keep making things no one wants. They make something they do. Make something they do what? Make something they do what? Change the product. <laughs> We make shoes. They're not ones anyone wants. Over at the Whitcomb factory, they don't want to laugh at all weather hiking shoes. So they start making all weather hiking shoes and save the factory. But Toby's has started making sandals. All the swords who survived went out looking for an underserved niche market and aimed to fill the void. They didn't sit up in their offices whining, oh, what else can I do? <laughs> Sorry, Nick, I'm completely underwater. Are you saying you still haven't left? Charlie, we have an appointment! If we lose this hole, why don't we get married in a fish and chip shop? Now that sounds like fun. Are you seriously setting me up? Oh, come on, Nick. Do we really need a showy wedding? In the end, shouldn't it be about us? The wedding announces to the world who you as a couple are going to be. I've just given two week notices to George, Don, Maggie, Trish. I forgot to ask Maggie to be a bridesmaid. Oh, she'd like that, yeah? I think she'd like getting a paycheck better. Honestly, Nick, wouldn't saving all those people's jobs tell the world a bit more about us than having a fancy party in a pair of nine women with shoes you'll probably wear once? Talk about your niche market. Talk about your niche market. Talk about what niche market? Take what you got, change your product, find another certain niche market, and they are certainly a completely underserved niche market. Have you gone on your lunch? Dick, I'll ring you back. Laura to the office. Laura to the office. Mr. Driver. In any case, those aren't transvestites. They're drag queens. There's a difference. Yes! <laughs> a drag queen puts on a frock and suddenly she's Cleopatra. A transvestite gets done up and off and his not looks like Winston Churchill. He's not as old as <laughs> and so you are insulted, you need to ask. <laughs> Lovely girl. 
Things aren't very good in men's shoes. So they are not. <laughs> How much do you weigh? Exactly the right amount. Oh, man, but you're wearing women's boots. But pay attention. Well, it's all wrong. It hasn't stopped me yet. A heel made for a woman cannot possibly support a man's weight. You need something special. Then I deserve something special. Well, if you trust veterans, <laughs> everywhere, like you say, there must be a niche market for properly built to last women's boots for women who are men. Yes? No. Um, the International Shoe Exhibition is in Milan next month. If we had something new to show, something no one else in the world has to offer, we might just save the factory. Ha! I'd like to measure you up, go back and make a sample pair. Oh, first riddle me this. Who gets to keep the boots? I'll give you a hint. The correct answer is you do, Lola. You do, Lola. <laughs> well, I pick them up. Prices of Northampton, is it? Oh, no, no, no. I'll bring them to you. I, I, I come to London all the time. <laughs> You don't want me to come to Northampton, do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. But I have a terrible habit of doing exactly the opposite of what people ask, which might explain why I'm wearing this frock today. See you in Northampton. Oh, and make them hooray! <laughs> <laughs>
spied something. Bug. <laughs> you said uh, red. you didn't specify. Red. Burgundy is a red. Burgundy is the color of hot water bottles. <laughs>